Hey guys, a company by the name of Crew Works got in contact with me. They saw my review over the Vever 22L that I have, my ultrasonic cleaner, and they asked me to do a review over theirs. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, right now, I'm just going to unpack it. Uh, the box is really sturdy and just go right through that and, you know, get on with it. So, let's uh, do a review. Now, as far as the comparing goes, uh, like I said, mine's a 22 liter. This is not a 22 liter. As a matter of fact, it's quite a bit smaller. So, there are some comparisons that I can't do because of volume differences between the two tanks. Uh, so, anyway, I'll deal with that when we get into it. Other than that, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing unpacked. All right, like I said, it's a good cardboard box. Thick, dense. The packing on the inside, dense foam. There you go right there. See it? All right, throw that off to the side. Now, the lid comes with a film on it, I noticed. Uh, the Vever did not do that. This is just an anti-scratch film. At least I don't remember the Vever coming with this on there. Anyway, there's that. Uh, ultrasonic cleaner user manual. There you go. Now I'm not gonna read that uh, and talk to you guys, that's boring. Okay, here's the cord, the connector cord. Vever also has. Now, there's some things in this bag right here as far as the drainage system on this goes, uh, which the Vever did not have. So that's really cool. They send you a hose also. And it's a decent length one right here. Uh, now the basket is very well constructed. Uh, it's the Vever was also, but not to this extent. Matter of fact, let me grab it and I'll show you. Okay, as you can see here, uh, the Vever right here, it's well not as sturdy looking, and actually it's not as sturdy as the Crew Works basket. Now the feet on the bottom, they're also uh, rubber coated on both the Vever and the crew work. All right, now that out of the way. Let's dig further into this. Okay, yeah, you have more packing foam down there in the bottom. Very dense, very thick. Uh, and this bad boy is wrapped in a plastic bag. Let's get it out. I still don't Maybe this is six liter No, Surely that's bigger than six liters. When they contacted me, they really, I didn't think I was gonna get one of these. So anyway, it's here. Now the dials on it are more analog than what's on the Vever. They're actual dials, you know, you can see right here. Boom. I kind of like that. You know, versus the push buttons, which you know those are going to go out eventually, maybe. It depends on how much you use it. These can go out too, depending on how much you use them. Okay, and on the back side is the on-off switch right there. Also the plug for the power cord. Here's the ball valve on the side for the drainage right there. Yeah, and apparently there's a, a no and okay on here. I don't know if you can see it right there. Yeah, it's an idiot stamp. In other words, don't turn this thing on uh, with no fluid in it. You will burn them up. Now, let me get the Vever out here and we'll compare them a little bit more in depth and then we'll go through some trials as far as heating up, especially. So, uh, let's uh, get to that. Okay guys, I'm just gonna jump right into this. First off, the main difference between these tanks, this is a 15 liter. This is a 22 liter, all right? Now, the only fair test that I can really give these guys is to put equal amounts of cleaner solution in here. Now, I'm not filling them all the way up, nor am I going at their minimum. 
I've got five liters of cleaner in here. Now, four liters is water. Uh, the extra liter, the fifth liter is simple green. And what I'm gonna do is just turn them both on. I've got two really good specimens right here. Now, uh, these are there's dirty, nasty, uh, not really rusty, but dirty and old, very old. Uh, these were in the bottom of my grandfather's toolbox, or one of them anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna put these in here, turn them both on. This one can only go up to 30 minutes. This one can go up for an hour, if I remember correct. I typically run it at 40 minutes, uh, just to keep from overdoing, overtaxing the machine. But anyway, uh, this is 30 minutes max. I wanna run it on 30. Now, the interesting thing about this, another interesting thing, is the dials, the gauges down here. They're in Fahrenheit, which is neat, you know, because I'm in America. Anyway, uh, so I want to turn this up to max, set it for 30, and just see how clean I can get these and compare it to this one over here and kind of judge about, you know, who gets up the temperature first, which, yeah... You know, I think it's gonna be the Vever. And the reason why I say that is because the heating unit on it is so much larger. Uh, everything about it is larger, not just the size. As a matter of fact, the heater power on the Vever is 600 watts and the Cruise Works is 300 watts. And on the actual ultrasonic power, the Vever sits at 480 watts and the Cruise Works sits at 360. So that's, you know, over, there's 120 watts difference there. That's the only way I have to compare them is to just run them side by side, run the same amount of cleaner in there, which is what I'm going to do. You guys sit back and watch and compare. Oh, one thing I did notice uh, real quick is the drain valve on this one is bigger than this one. This one's like a three eighths. This is a half inch. So kudos on that because this one takes a while to drain. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm sure this will drain faster, but I'm more concerned with, you know, it heating up and doing the job. So speaking of doing the job, let's go ahead and do it right now. Okay, I got the fluid in there and I'm turning everything on right now, uh, setting the temperature on this. This one, I have it set, uh, 175 degrees is equal to uh, 80 degrees Celsius. So anyway, that's what it's set on. Uh, water temperature right now is sitting at 26 degrees Celsius. I don't know what the conversion is on that. But anyway, uh, both are set for 30 minutes and I'm starting it now. Now, I know this is not a fair comparison, really. But as far as the gyration of the water, there is not much going on in here. Now, I know the size of the tanks are different. And the depth of the water is different. It's more shallow in this one than it is over in this one. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to, you guys to be aware of that. Uh, this is what I'm seeing, and I wanted you to see it also. Now, I want to reset these and put the wrenches in there and then turn the machines on. Well, one interesting thing so far is that the cruise work is heating up faster. Uh, so anyway, I'll keep you posted if anything else changes like that. It's just surprising. I really didn't expect that. Now, when I say a lot more, well, when I say it's heating up faster, it's like two to three degrees more. I don't really see. This is 85 degrees Fahrenheit. 94.5. So almost 10 degrees difference between the two. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind. Okay, I, I just got them out after 30 minutes and take a look for yourselves. Okay guys, here's the two wrenches that I pulled out. The one on the left is from Crew Works and the one on the right is the Vever. Now, there is a little bit of difference between the two as far as you know, which one's cleaner than the other one. I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but the cruise works did do a little bit better. And the reason why is because it just heated up quicker. Uh, that's it. 
Now, the specifics on these as to what temperature they got up to and the amount of time and so on and so forth. Well, I mean, it's, that's the main thing that I look at, uh, come to find out when judging ultrasonics. Of course, how they clean also. I mean, they have to have the ability to clean well, which this one does. Now, uh, the heating up part, which is my number one thing. Uh, it got hotter more quickly than the Vever. Actually, it got hotter than the Vever, you know, hands down, really. Uh, it got up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit, and the Vever got up to 104 after 30 minutes. Now, that's not me preheating my water or my cleaning solution beforehand. That's at room temperature, and that's where I started from which was 80 degrees. I do not have a promo code for this yet, okay? But I will be getting one, I'm sure of it. Uh, it'll be down below in the description area. But as for right now, this unit I can find on Amazon and I will put a picture of it up here. Also a picture of the one that they sent me uh, anyway, something will be up here. Okay, I don't know yet because I'm not in editing yet. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, they didn't say whether or not I could keep it. I hope I can. It would be nice. A uh, nice addition because sometimes I do not need a tank this big. I do not need 22 liters. Um, and this is nice. Oh, something else too. Are the handles on this. Uh, this is really cool. These are a lot more comfortable on the cruise works than the Vever. The Vever is actually just pieces of stamped steel, as you can see here. And the cruise works is, well, plastic, but you know, it gives you more to hang on to and it's not as hard on your fingertips. That's really all I have to say about them. Uh, that, that's, that's the review. So, Anyway, check it out for yourselves. Thank you guys for showing up and watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. And thanks for cruise work. Now, they gave this to me, all right? They did not say, okay, say just a bunch of nice stuff about, you know, our unit. I really did not get a chance to talk to them that much. But as with typical YouTubers who do reviews, um, I'm gonna say like it is. I'm not just saying, this nice stuff about it because they gave it to me. All right, and again, I don't know if it's mine. It may have to go back to them. I have no idea yet, but there you go. And I like it better. They made some changes from this model, even though they're two different companies. Um, it does heat up faster. That, that's a big deal with me. It really is. And it cleans well. So anyway, there you go. And actually it surprised me. I honestly did not think that this would heat up faster than the Vever. 26 degrees difference. Yeah, what, you know, 26 degrees difference. So uh, yeah, I like this one. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for showing up and I appreciate you coming back time and time again to uh, watch my channel. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and go ahead and hit that notification bell too so you know when my next videos are coming out. Promo code hopefully will be down the bottom. If not, I'll have a link to Amazon where you can pick one of these guys up. Uh, this one right here, uh, it's sister on Amazon, I think is a 250 bucks for a 15 liter, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe that's for, yeah, something like that. Anyway, just go check it out for yourselves if you're interested. I, uh, I like it, anyway. See you guys later.